Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! Yeah, that's right. This is Chaos Blue, and we're doing this. Now, first thing you might notice... This is the Game Boy one. Uh, 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls. There's a few reasons for this. Um... I'm gonna keep all the regular names. The bit main reason is because I don't have access to a convenient, um... Well, NES version of the game. But after that, also, frankly, this game is bad enough to play through on this version. It's way <laughs> worse on the NES version. Anyway, let's watch this intro. The Emperor of Palamessia has called forth monsters from the underworld and begun con his campaign for world conquest. Wow, that's really fast. A rebel army arose in the kingdom of Flynn to thwart the Emperor's plans. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to a remote town of Altair. Four youths from Flynn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire. But their escape wasn't over. Oh shoot! Do I have any magic? No! Do I have any items? No! Can I flee? Probably not. Black Knight, say. Missed. And missed. Wow, that's terrible. And I can't run away. I wonder if I can at least hit them. That'd be nice. Well, Leon's dead. And Guy's dead. And Firon's dead. And Mario can't run away. And we're... Well, that that was Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Do it me next time for... Oh, wait. What? That's not the end. Yay! <laughs> Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Flynn, fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Leaving me lying on the floor, of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought, they're building in Basque. Their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. Hey, looks like that guy woke up. I guess that's Furion. Where am I? What's happening? And where are my pants? Leon! Maria! Guy! Where are you? And what did you do with my pants? There they are! Firon, you're alive! I, I thought... I thought you'd... I'm fine, Mario. Are you... You, you alright too, guy? But wait, where's Leon? Princess of Finn, save us! But, Leon not here. Leon must have taken my pants. I see.
Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. Still not in control. So you've regained your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. Strong indeed. So it was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please allow us to join the rebel- the rebel army! It's that sort of sudden, isn't it? I could never allow such a thing! You know nothing of battle! You would only be throwing your lives away! And we- and we have the right to be picky. You should return to your homes. But we have no homes, not anymore. Ah. The Imperials attack, and our parents, our parents. I am truly sorry, but even so, this change is nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you've nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. Oh, I will. This is actually probably the coolest mechanic in this game. The learning and using words. The Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Flynn. It represents our hope of a future that flourishes in both strength and beauty in my pants. But what will become of Flynn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives have been taken there, and suffer even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? It is possible he's being held in Flynn as well. But Flynn is, too far, is far too dangerous now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Min Wu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave, he may be of some assistance. Okay, and I'm in control now! Which means I can go in here. Uh... Right, I'm gonna turn that off. Or on? There, that's the way I want it. I want this in memory. I want this faster. And the window? The window should be purple. Okay! Now that we have all that worked out, let's save the game. And I'm gonna take a stop here, not stopping the video, mind you, but to explain something. In this video, <coughs> in this video, I'm gonna be updating a little differently than I have in the past. Uh, before, I was updating every day, and I'm still gonna do that, but for Final Fantasy uh, 2, I'm going to be doing things a little differently. The way I'm going to do it is, I'm going to have a recording session, not counting this one, every time uh, my subscribers increase us by a certain amount. Now that certain amount is binary, so first two subscribers, then four, then eight, and so on. Now a recording session is going to be at least an hour long, and if I get far enough along, I'm just gonna record it all anyway. In the subscriber count, that is. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be doing that for up in this video. So, if you want to see more Final Fantasy 2, and me torturing myself for it, because while the story in this game is sort of good, the battle system is pretty... is bloody grindy. Um... <laughs> and... Yeah, pretty much. If you want to see more Final Fantasy 2, then what you need to do is, like, s subscribe. With these numbers, I'll be probably halfway through the game at 10 subscribers, so it's not going to take many. Anyway, I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. You'll begin by journeying to Flynn, 
that is the first step towards realizing your fate. And is it just me, or is the attack even going slower now? Hey, hey, you've wasted no time in using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn of much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Flynn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of your, should one of you fall before reaching Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. So yeah, let's like um fix this. That's the one I want. The port of Paloom lies not far east of here. But the lake separates us, so you won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. That was a special word. Hmm. Heading to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's, danger it's a dangerous place to be, you see. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Gatri. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky if you made it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're going to need all the advice and spare. And I'm not going there because... No. I'm not doing tutorials. I refuse. What's in here though? An arrow struck me in the back during the battle. I, it left me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter, Hilda, now serves as Re Regent. You should speak with her. Now I wonder. Nope. And uh, nope. The thing with this game is there's a lot of secret passages. Like, a lot. Especially later on. Oh wait, no. Am I thinking about Final Fantasy IV? Maybe. There's still secret passages in this game, but maybe there aren't a lot of them. I don't know. You're in the Rebel Hideout in the town of Altair. Good to know. Gordon, Prince of Kashion, is hiding out here in Altair. I don't know what happened, but something made him lose his faith in himself. Princess Hilda fled here when Flynn was sacked. She's doing a remarkable job of leading the Rebel Army to, with, while His Majesty recovers. Eh. Potion! Ha ha ha! And I guess they'll go out the front door. Great hiding, guys. Let's see. How much money do I have? 400. Okay, first things first. I need to buy... Um, what's this? The Sanctuary. Okay. I need to... Hey, it's white magic. I don't need to buy white magic. That's uh, just magic in general. I really want cure. I mean, yeah. I really want cure. <laughs> Before I buy more, though, I need to go to the weapon shop. If I can find. Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can reach it. Tobal, the fellow over there is the weapon shop. What? Wait, what? Over there in that weapon shop is one fine blacksmith he is. I think he's been bothered by something lately, though. What do you want with me? I'm just an old man. The geezer acts, or the geezer acts just cover. My name is Tobal, and I'm the best darn blacksmith in the Rebel Army. Good to know. Anyway, I'm here for weapons. Like, as many of these as I can get my hands on. Wait, what is Guy equipped with? An axe. Okay then, well, we're gonna need to fix that, but for now... Let's buy three swords. This may seem odd, but I have a method to this. And it goes something like this. Uh, this sort of ties in with the uh, level up thing I was talking about earlier. It's pretty nasty. 
Um... Basically, uh, the way you level up is you do a lot of some one thing in battle, and then it happens. But you also level up, uh, or well, yeah, then you level that up. But you also level up weapon levels and spell levels. Spell levels um, aren't completely terrible in this version of the game, but it'll blow your brains out if you even try doing magic in the original. On the other hand, weapon levels, those take a really long time to level up. But if you have double weapons, it goes faster. Quite a bit faster. In fact. And you know what else is good for having double levels? Magic? Whatever. Double weapons? Well, yeah, you deal more damage and it levels up your weapons faster. That's pretty much it. And I'm just giving everyone swords because I know the best weapon in the game is a sword. And honestly, it's easier to have everyone have the same kind of weapon. Although, I may change my mind later on. Uh, though, one weapon I'm definitely not going to be using, though, are bows. Because you can't dual wield bows, and you can't use a shield with bows. Which we'll makes bows kind of just useless. You know what else would be nice about playing this version, though? I don't need to worry about attacking multiple enemies. Speaking of this, though... There we go. Well, let's go to that town that we're talking about. It's a goblin! Man, I need to see if I can set up this terrible button on this. Because I'm going to miss that from... Uh, my Ness emulator. Hey, the shield... Wait, did the shield's level just increase? Really? No, I guess it was sword. Oh, no, it was shield. Uh, yeah, but as I was saying... I may give these two different weapons that aren't swords. I haven't decided yet. The only weapon I'm definitely not going to give anyone is a bow. Um, let's see now. Oh, another thing to watch out for in this game. It is absolutely vicious with areas. It's pretty wide open, but if you go into an area that you aren't supposed to go into, and you will, You'll die. Just... Dead. Just straight up. Because that's the sort of game it is. It tells you you can't go into an area by killing you. Really viciously. It ran away. That's lame. Really lame. Anyway. Ah, uh, I'm sort of getting some lag right now. So hopefully this will st still turn out fine. Oh wow. Mario's in trouble. Um... I wonder... Okay. I'm also testing a new, uh, well, recording differently, basically. Just to see how, how that'll work out for me. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to record one huge video at once. Which might not work. Um, I know it would, it will work with my NES emulator. I haven't tried it. I haven't used this Game Boy enough to know though. Oh, and for the record, I do own this game. I'm playing it on an emulator, but obviously I wouldn't be able to record it otherwise. Just for the people who might have been worrying about that. Dual access, because why not? And give him the second sword. 
Eventually, I probably will be giving people shields, but right now, I want to grind up my uh, sword as much as I can. Or weapons, anyway. Um... Yeah, pretty much. So, I'm gonna actually stop here, because as I said, I don't know how my thing will record. So, yeah. Until next time, this has been Chaos Blue. See ya.